Welcome back again uh, to my course link with uh, C Sharp and uh, under this session we will be covering the aggregation methods which you can use in order to do some operations. Uh, so for example we'll cover all of them, I mean all aggregation methods in terms of uh, sum, uh, min, max, count and average. Okay, let's go back to our Visual Studio and uh, let's um, uh, define a data source at this point i'm going to uh, let's do an array of a type integer and uh, this will be numbers and i will just put in one two three four five six seven eight nine all right that's quite enough and then let's uh, first of all do the uh, okay the summary operation now uh, basically, I'd like to show you something which is called an aggregator operator. Aggregator operator. Okay, and the aggregate, uh, the aggregator operator, what does is it will sum up all of these elements with each other. So what happens? All right, let's let's just see how that works. Okay. So I will do the following var query one, okay, equals to. So we set. What do we do? I mean, let's avoid confusion. We we define a data source first, right? Okay, and then to link query, right? And then we have execution, execution of query. Okay, so we have it like that. All right, so basically we would uh, get the numbers and then there is a function which is called aggregate, right? But then watch this now uh, if you watch the previous um, uh, session we spoke about lambda expressions right here and uh, this is where you would see actually that um, uh, the usage of it let me just uh, do it uh, this way and then I'll explain actually what uh, all of this does okay all right so so basically what this means is um, we're going to, uh, this is a lambda expression, right, at this point, which is going to summar, uh, sum, uh, summarize every and each element up to the end of the uh, numbers array, okay, which is an integer, type of integer. And then to print out the result, we would need to do it like that, I mean, obviously. So keep in mind, we said before that um, queries which are what type uh, i enumerable, they, we can look through. But at this point, actually, we have an integer query, right? So that's why we are strict, uh, directly uh, going to actually to query it, all right? So basically, this, is, uh, this falls under the execution side. Okay, so... Uh, let's run this uh, example at this point and see what we end up with. It's 45. Now, if you really start summarizing the numbers, then you will come up to uh, 45. Now, let's do, <clears throat> let's use at this time the aggregation operator sum and see what happens. Okay, so this time we will use sum. All right, so var query2 equals to numbers dot sum <coughs> and then I'm going to write uh, I'm going to print out or output the result all right this is it and see what happens 45 all right so okay so here's what's happening here uh, basically this is already uh, what what this function sum does is what we've done with this aggregate function and the lambda expression pretty much but actually 
we don't have to really go this way, although actually it's very good if you understand this technology. I mean, right here, this is by using lambda expression. We spoke a little bit about lambda expressions before, but some is actually already defined function under, uh, uh, and uh, basically we can just uh, use it as such and just get the uh, summarized um, uh, total actually of the, these elements which belong to the array numbers. Let's continue now. Let's do uh, min. So what's going to happen at this point? Let's just observe. Let's just write the query numbers dot min. Okay, and then I will just do it like that. Okay. And then we show, uh, actually we, we were printed out, we printed out uh, number one. So this function checks all of the elements, right? And, uh, and basically it checks for the minimum or the smallest actually number in our case, which is number one, which is the correct one that's been printed out. Okay. So let's see what happens if we have function number max, uh, function max, okay? So for that purpose, let's uh, introduce another query, which is uh, query four. Let's assign uh, numbers and then we'll just do max, okay? And uh, what I'm going to do is the following. Okay, let's just cancel this one. And then we should be able to get the biggest element, which is number nine in our uh, array okay at this point let's end uh, okay so we observed so far max uh, let's check count okay count is gonna count the the total of the elements in the array or in the collection in, in our case we use a collection but after that I will transform that to uh, actually we use an array but I will transform it to a collection and show you how this is going to work as a collection as well. It's pretty much the same. Numbers count. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy another line right here and say print out the result from uh, query five. And then we should get how many? Nine elements. Okay. Which is the, the right thing, right? Okay. And then there is another aggregate function or operator uh, which we need to export. This is the average, okay? And the way we do it is the following way. We have six, we have two numbers, average, and let's do it like that. Number six, so let's print out the... <laughs> So the average is five. So if we summarize and divide actually the elements by nine, we should be able to get uh, the value of five, I believe. Yes. Okay. All right. So that was all about um, uh, basically about aggregate operators.